Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Just need a minute Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Happy Valentine's Day guys This is how we're spending our Valentine's We decided to go the route of Buying a whole bunch of seafood And just picking out And spending time and enjoying each other On this beautiful day Last year we spent I guess a lot of money Out eating and just doing stuff last minute So Cause we went to Roof Chris And It was like Twice of what we paid for To get seafood so we said You know what why That's like the tradition everybody on Valentine's Day They go out and mm -hmm. they go to a restaurant, every restaurant be booked, and I they raise the prices because they know that that's a want. So we say, you know what, we're going to sit in, get our alcohol, get our seafood because we are seafood lovers, and we're going to enjoy it. We try to get shy some yeah, crawfish, right. but... That was another story. Yeah. Like, it, it was, I guess because it's Valentine's Day, it's real busy, and... They had me on hold and it would take 30 minutes for me to get my food and I'm like, I'm ready to go home and eat. So, with that being said, we have some Be Love spicy sauce. We had the mild sauce before, but we're going to try the spicy sauce to see what the hype is about. And I'm ready to throw down. Yeah. So, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I the cucumber. I don't know if the cucumber really... Let's allow you to capture the taste. This is a little bit more spicy than the last one, though. Yeah. Because we added our own peppers and stuff in it, but the cucumber is like watery, so. Such a big. Um, all right, we're coming up. And we got blue crab, snow crab, corn, um, corn, <laughs> eggs, potato, sausage. I think I got I don't know what to eat first. <laughs> mm. What are some Valentine's traditions you guys do instead of going out and spending a ton of money? I felt like this is more home. You home, you don't have to worry about being crowded around a whole bunch of people. You can relax, eat how you want to. I feel like it's more intimate. Like, you're not in a restaurant where there's tons of couples. I mean, you're just in your own home, chilling. Mm -hmm. Gotta cook, somebody that know how to cook, and you throw down. This is actually my first time we had got the uh, blue crabs live, and it's the first time of me making it by myself. Mm -hmm. I always watch people do it, but I never actually tried to cook it by mm -hmm. myself. So babe was like, you sure you know what you're doing? And I said, I've been watching people, but I've never done it on my own, so. Because we love seafood, so, I'm like, we don't want to come out wrong. These are, the snow crabs so good, by the way. Right. Wouldn't want them to come out wrong. And I really wanted to add my crawfish to this because it just would taste it so much better. Because <clears throat> the way they season them at this place called Blue Claw are just like, I could go get them and eat them on a regular basis. Like, that's so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They frustrated us today. I, I don't like how we called the place. Well, we called because it's like 15 minutes from our house. So, they had, he picked me up and he was ordering it and they hung up. So then he tried to call back and <laughs> they was like, Walking, they was like, Blue Car, please hold. Like, they ain't even asking. Give me no chance to say like, anything. Like, yeah, like, sir, do you mind waiting, you know, or like anything. He just said, Blue Car, please, please hold. And then he just put him on hold. Then the phone hung up. He called back again and he tried to get catch the guy before the guy said the same thing. Blue Car, please hold. So. I'm like, when he finally answered the phone, like, to take my order, I'm like, yeah, you didn't put me on hold for two times now. What's going on? I mean, I get it, it's Valentine's Day, but I feel like just as, the, just as the people sitting in are a priority, people that's ordering takeout should still be too, just because it's a holiday. And y'all still have more staff. And he, I'm like, how long is it going to take? 
<laughs> for a pound of crawfish, she's like 30 minutes. I'm like, oh no, never mind. What am I gonna wait 30 minutes for? For a pound of crawfish? That should not take 30 minutes when they usually take 10 to 15. But I knew I had all this other seafood here. So I'm like, I'm gonna be grateful. Oh, we got some Corona, by the way. Mm -hmm. We got another set of things at our bar. But I don't know if I'm gonna drink any hard heart liquor because I'm just not in the mood for that. But you know, he, he it might change. This is really good. The sauce and it's spicy. Yeah. That's our type of spicy. We love spicy stuff. Like, love it. Right, dude? Yes, we do. Everybody that hangs out with us or takes on cooking, I'm like, is it spicy before I eat it? Or what you got? I know it's spicy. They just think everything we have or eat is spicy. I have been like trying to incorporate. Oh my God, it really is spicy. Less spicy food because I tend to get like my chest, my chest starts to hurt or I feel like I get real chest pain and they said it could be heartburn. Mm -hmm. So, hey, yo. I've been trying to watch you guys, um, how you much the spicy stuff we eat. Barely. Barely, but. He said like, that. That's a lot. You know what I have? I really have had a long time, but for a while. Y'all yeah. seen that last video when he had, you know, blazing hot wings. <laughs> Oh, this is spicy. Like, I don't think we should so add good. a little more spice to it. No, it's good. It's a good spicy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Look, it's this how I love the way she put this. Put the peppers up there. We love be having kicking in there. If they had this, they'd be like, "Oh, now this is spicy." If you a spicy person, child, they make that. Snapping it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Slips on this side, yeah. That is inappropriate for you. It was at this moment that he knew. Dog. TMI. Anyway, guys, it's been a minute. We we actually were talking. I don't know if it was last night or the night before about how like it takes. It doesn't take so much, but like to post a video and stay connected to YouTube when you have like, you know, a regular job during the day, it's really, really time consuming and you can easily fall off track. Like, you gotta find an equal balance. Yeah, because we started off shooting videos. Like, it's easy to shoot the video, it's the editing part. Like, you know, you don't wanna just, some people don't care, they just post whatever, but sometimes we're like, on the sense of like not like perfectionism, we want to make sure the video is nice, and that right there can take a day, two days, depending on how long the video is. So we are getting back into being consistent. I don't know if you guys seen our new what is it called banner or whatever. Oh yeah. We're gonna be he looking at what you talking about. We're gonna be posting on Wednesdays. Every Wednesday, you guys will get a video for us. from us. Yes, every Wednesday. Woo. We feel like if we commit ourselves to one day a week, it'll be better. Um, just to start to get back in the groove of posting. Now, I'm from down south, y'all. And I love seafood boys. Anything that in, in Seafood what? He loves making fun of how I say boil. <laughs> boil. Boyo. He say, y'all, he be like, bull. Seafood bull. Man, every time we go down south, right? What? First thing, my aunt be like, what you want me to cook or what? Seafood. Sean be with it too. I'm with it. I love seafood. Oh! Y'all, this is hot. You ain't trying no cucumbers? Yeah, I tried cucumbers, but I think I need to eat another one. Yeah. Well, we do have our so, TV playing in the background. I think it's probably loud. You're a brave guy. Mm. If you can't hear us. No, we're probably too far down. I feel like we're talking about all that. I was just double check because we can't, we don't know what you guys can hear. Yeah. 
But as I was saying, I just love seafood oils. Like, I could eat seafood every day. Now, corn, I don't know about on the other hand, because dang. Oh, that's a part of the seafood boil, but it run through you. Yes, it come oh, out the same sausage. way it go in. Mm -hmm. Shrimp, I ain't even touching shrimp. Yeah, we got it. eggs. We love, be like, mmm. 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 Our little kitten daughter. It's eating her food. Every time we eat, she eats at the same time as us. <laughs> she eat, are you eating your Valentine's Day dinner with us, Blossom? If anybody out there is cat owners, if you want to give us some tips on or things that you know is about your cat, please comment below. She'll actually be one, one next, next month. month, and that's the same month as our anniversary. How um, ironic. <laughs> So, we're going to get her nails cut, get her cleaned up, um, and yeah, we're actually in the process of thinking about what we're going to do, but wherever we do, we got to have seafood. Wherever we do. Whatever we do, <laughs> <laughs> we got to have that seafood. That spice got him talking crazy. <laughs> this is hot. Oh yeah, everywhere we go, I look, what's the best seafood in the area? Yeah, because when we went to Tampa, y'all, you got it though. For my, it was a surprise, 26th birthday. Get away here. Yeah. And we found this seafood spot down there. Oh my Jesus. And we, we went to one first and they were saying they didn't have something. So we like Googled another one that was right down the street. And we went in there. I don't think they had whole, whole crabs. crabs. And yeah, and we wanted whole crabs. Mm -hmm. So we Googled the place down the street and went in there and he got crawfish because he's a crawfish lover now. Where's his cousin from you on? Yeah, my cousin, uh, my cousin's wife, her name is Ashley. She got him to try one day and he's been hooked ever since. I mean, he's hooked. Like, mm -hmm. he could get all work and be like, <laughs> uh, I want to get some crawfish. And me, I'll be like, damn. Oh, excuse me. I'll be like, what can I get from there? Like, just because he's going, I'll be trying, like, I love fried vegetables. I don't know if anybody ever had fried vegetables, but when you go to certain seafood places, they have like carrots, broccoli, and like, I think like french fries, and they fry them. But they don't have that out here. No, they so don't. So when he get his crawfish, I'll just be looking at him like, well, what I'm going to eat? I'll be telling him, get some shrimp, get some scallops or something like that. He's like, I don't know. Yeah. But. I'd yeah. tear some crawfish down. Yeah. And it's fun. it just recently started about, well, I was going to say about a year or two ago. Like, yeah. That you been eating crawfish? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the ones in Tampa, they was like really big, like huge. Right. Actually, bookmark. All the rest of my friends with seafood. That'd be good. I bookmarked my phone because when I go back to the city, I'm going to go back to the place and get me some more seafood. Huh. Uh, we really just wanted to check in, bring you guys in. What, what we're doing on Valentine's Day, you don't got to do too much. Like, people think they just got to go all out for Valentine's Day. Granted, I'm not saying I wouldn't appreciate that either, but I do also appreciate the little things like this. Like, it's very intimate. We get to look in each other's eyes and we get to love on each other. Mm, it's like, nah. We really, like, get to enjoy each other's, each other's company and we don't have to worry about anything. We can get up. When we finish, go to bed if we want to, sit, watch TV. We ain't got to worry about driving back nowhere. Like, it's just so much that goes into the little things. And it's just, I think a lot of the little things are more memorable. Like, it just lands in your heart and you just hold on to it forever. Because you're like, remember that day we sat down on Valentine's Day? And we made a whole bunch of seafood and we just sat and talked and got to connect. You hold on to those and cherish those memories, so yeah. I appreciate the small things. Don't think y'all gotta go out there and do it big. If you got it, do it big. But you ain't gotta break the bank either. Yeah, I think even if when so I, no excuses. Even when I'm in that financial space, I still like this part. Like just trying different things, is like you know, food ideas, and like he said, being intimate. Like you don't gotta worry about going to a restaurant. Somebody just disrupting your mood. 
all the different energies going on. Mm -hmm. You could just be in space to your home. Mm. Or if you even go rent a hotel or something, whatever you do. Mm. Um, and just enjoy the day. I think this is, I can't count it, but I think this might be the first time that I've ever done like Valentine's Day at home and cooked instead of like going out because I just always felt you like you go to the movies or you just do something on Valentine's Day. Everybody think they do have to do something, but it'd be so busy out. Like yeah. everybody's always in a restaurant. That's guaranteed. You have to make reservations if it's like a popular restaurant you're going to. So that's one right. thing right there. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, Jappa. If anybody is blue claw lovers, I love the orange, the eggs. I eat like two. He eat the whole thing. How I, how our favorite YouTube couple do? Who you know? <laughs> Who you know, boo? Who you know, boo? I wait. The air voice. That's our. That's our boo right one there. Of our oh my God. We so happy for them. Hey. They about to get married. Yes, and start a family like they young, successful, doing it. Like mm -hmm. I just love to see young couples flourish and love on each other and do things like it's just so inspiring, and I love to see it. Yeah, we've been like catching, like watching certain YouTube couples, and they're like one of them. I mean, we can we went back to like way back, like when they were a little bit younger, so. We love to watch them, them, and of course our fave other couple, Brittany, Brittany and Dory. Dory. Them girls, it's funny. They I'm full. Yeah, and I, know. I only ate one crab, one snow crab, and one one blue crab. And imagine if you had crawfish. Oh, no, I would have threw down on them. Maybe I take a little sip of this. This might. Help me digest what this is. Oh, and if you guys are, in case you're wondering what this is back here, this is actually our cat's gym. She works out 24-7. She goes, it's actually called Planet Blossom. <laughs> she goes and she jumps on it. If any of your cats would like to um, join it, you'll have to pay a $10 monthly fee and we'll just let them come in and they'll run and jump on the gym if they'd like to. So check it out. Hit us in our um, email if you're interested. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, she enjoys it. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> That's her shim. That is her shim. That is her gym, though. No, seriously, that is her her workout buddy right here. She runs up and down it. It's a scratch and post on it. A lot of fun things. And Sean went all out. Yeah. Or whatever. For it's our really baby. High. Um, and we actually, I don't know if y'all see the Valentine's Day balloons in the back, but... Oh, yeah, in the back corner. Babe got me some Valentine's Day balloons. And Babe got me some Valentine's Day balloons. And I got him a Valentine's Day balloon. So, but he said, so when we got here, I was a little thrown off. He was like, I got to uh, call my mom. I'm like, huh? But I didn't pay it no mind. I just came upstairs. And then, you know, I'm up here. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, actually, that's good because I could come up here and make sure everything is on the table because I thought that the cat... Just gonna jump up on the table and move stuff. So I came up and I'm like, oh, let me just light the candle. And then when he came up and he came up and I'm like, yo, we beat on the same accord so much. That is funny because I'm up here setting up and he telling me to come upstairs so he can get whatever he got. So it worked out. Period. We always on the same accord. That's what I love about each of us. Individually and together, I mean, we some, are one. Yeah, sometimes it just be like we be so in sync. Like we be like, "Yo, stop! Get out of my head!" Like I don't know if you guys ever significant or anybody just be like, you be thinking something, then they just say it. Like they take the words out your mouth. Mm -hmm. That's us, like twenty four seven. No, no lie. Like it just be like, I'll be thinking something, and he'll say it. Well, he'll be thinking something and I'll say it. Or sometimes we'll say it at the same time. So, that um, is something that I love about our relationship. I love you. I love you too. I have a kiss? Sure. Psych! <laughs> No, I really do want a kiss though, baby. I really want a kiss. 
What's your potato mouth? <laughs> I want a real kiss. You too. It is Valentine's Day, guys. This is our second Valentine's Day together. Yes, it is. It could have been other years too, but I, I didn't get to him quick enough. But I ain't make her mind quick enough, and he ain't make me his quick enough. But we've been in each other's lives. In previous Valentine's, we just didn't spend Valentine's Day together, but we knew each other, if you know what I mean. We seen each other. We see each other. We see each other. <laughs> Very often. <laughs> I'll be quiet. This is our Valentine's Day mukbang. <laughs> mukbang. A mukbang. You know we ain't even the lemon. Oh yeah. We gotta get that lemon, y'all. Oh, we love Miss B. Love too. Yeah, she. She's like you gotta get that lemon rain. Can you tell you, baby, she what? She is like I'm full. Yeah, I feel like I'm just trying to eat stuff now. Seriously. And I ain't even get like I ain't even eat one egg. I didn't even eat one potato. Mm -hmm. I didn't even finish my corn. I still got a little bit of this blue claw. We've been looking for this. Actually, I think I don't know. You know how when you be anxious about something and then they come and you just be like, like I don't know if y'all ever be so hungry and then when you finally eat, you just eat like two bites. We've been thinking about this seafood all week. Like, oh, all we can't week. wait to fry We can't wait I was going to buy, I was going to buy seafood oh, during the week. And I said, you know what? No, I'm going to keep my craving so I can really enjoy it when I get it. Um, it's just so much. Like, ugh. It is. So, I don't know where everybody lives at that's watching, but we are in well, PA and it's almost the end of February and we still haven't really got Seen snow. Any snow yet, which is oddly it's strange to us. But I heard in other states that rarely get it are now getting like they're getting a lot of snow. Where? If you are one of those states, can you give us how it feels to you guys? Because I know some people that Just never comment seen below snow. how it feels to you guys. Yeah, comment below because I know some people they like we don't get snow. And those places are the ones getting snow. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think the groundhog. Seeing it, he didn't see a shadow, so I think it's gonna be. If he didn't see it, we get early spring. Uh, early spring, I believe that's how it goes. If not, you guys have Google. You can go <laughs> look it up and see. But yeah, we're gonna have a allegedly have an early spring. I mean, it's been feeling like spring lately, so. <laughs> but I <laughs> always feel today. like I feel like we do get hit with snow like early mid March. Yeah, but if we're lucky, it won't be until we on vacation somewhere. Our anniversary is in March. Yes, and that's all we were thinking about doing is traveling. Yeah, last year we did a lot of traveling. We did. This I think year? we started around March, April. We went to Yukon first, and then I thought we went to was it Jamaica first. No, it wasn't Orlando. It was San Diego. Was it San Diego? Oh, maybe it was. Yeah. San Diego, then we went to North Carolina, then... We went to Tampa. Tampa. We went to, went to New San Orleans. San Diego and what else? Two places in California. We went to one and went to another some Two of her events. That was in Orlando the year before, babe. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Orlando was in 2018. 18. November. I think like April. Yeah, it was like April something. We was in Orlando. I mean, oh, I'm getting confused. San Diego. Then we went to Tampa, New Orleans, North Carolina. I had took him to see my Syracuse. Syracuse. We went to. Um, we just was all over. Literally. Oh, did we go? Was that Maryland we went to last year? Or that was no, that Maryland was in 2018. Well, we got them correct. That's 